What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer and Woods, style consultancy and pre-owned menswear store. So today I'm going to run you through my top 8 things I would include in a summer capsule wardrobe. Fun fact, I did this video yesterday and I forgot to include shorts. Oh, we'll get the hang of this YouTube thing. But yeah, before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe guys, it really helps me grow the store and the channel. Also, if you are interested in style consultancy, I do offer anything from one hour ad hoc sessions to a full sort of styling service. Check out archandwoods.com for that. But let's get into it. So, a summer capsule wardrobe. For me, I'm just gonna keep it so simple. These are the first, the core eight ingredients I would add to a wardrobe to then build on. So these will be super simple, but really effective things to have. The colors are gonna be simple. You're gonna be able to mix and match pretty much anything in it. So the first thing I would include, and it's one of my favorite things, is a linen chore jacket. This is so crucial for me because obviously linen fantastic lightweight material you can layer this thing up as much as you want so you know if you want to pair it with a shirt or a t-shirt underneath so you can be smart or casual i sometimes just wear just the chore jacket when it's really hot out straight on nips nothing underneath sometimes with shorts sometimes with trousers it goes with pretty much anything so i would normally advise something like a navy one but if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous maybe a lighter color you can get like a sort of cream beige color or like a green color any sort of earth tones really work well, but for me, a navy is, a, is an absolute must. So I would also include safari jackets in this. Anything with that kind of vibe, I would include. So without getting into the nitty gritty or which is what. For brands, I would go for something like Drake's. They're just the, my go-to for this kind of thing. Every one I've had of theirs has been fantastic. Great materials, really nice modern fit to them without being like skinny. The, yeah, the linen is fantastic. They clean well. The colors are really deep and rich and they're the absolute go-to. So they're good in the free air market. Obviously, if you, they're a little bit more expensive, obviously new, but if you are going for something a little bit more affordable, John Henrik, I did a video about, this is a Swedish brand. They do some really good ones as well. So they've got some good linen sort of jackets. And if you did want something a bit thicker, they do them in other materials also. So number two, we might cheat with this because we're gonna add colors, but it's an Oxford shirt and it's a nice, crisp, clean Oxford shirt, lightweight. I would go for a white one and personally I'd go for like a navy one as well. Light and navy are gonna, it's gonna be a big theme with this because they just pair well with pretty much everything. So a crisp white one, especially because it's bright, it's fresh. You can wear it with a t-shirt underneath. You can just wear it without, tucked in, untucked, with jeans, shorts, pretty much anything. So it goes without saying, this is an absolute must. The darker one, obviously, it just gives you a little bit more of a difference in look. It's not gonna get dirty that much. It's better for an evening out. Also, if you're wearing lighter bottom half, the darker top half might be better for you. In terms of brands, Anglo-Italian are fantastic for Oxford shirts. I bought a couple of theirs recently, pre-owned, and I've been so impressed with them. Especially with their Oxford cloth ones, they're really lightweight, they're just really nice fit and cut to them, a great collar on them as well, they're not too like small. So I definitely recommend them. On the more affordable side, you've got Reese is always that sort of mid-level one, and then, then a Uniqlo as well, some fantastic ones for 20, 30 quid. Obviously for all this, pre-owned goes without saying, you can buy it get them for a lot cheaper, but there's really good options for any sort of price point. So number three, I'm going with a denim or chambray shirt, something a bit lightweight as well. So this might be a little bit heavy for you. I love a like proper Levi's cowboy shirt. I'm obsessed with denim shirts really in general, but you might just want to go with a sort of chambray one or something a little bit lighter than say this or something cleaner. I would actually say for a capsule wardrobe, I'd go without something like the sort of cowboy regalia that's going on here i'd go for just a simple clean almost like dress denim shirt so reese do some amazing ones of them these are great because they just add that little bit of difference to what you're wearing you can make them super casual or you can dress them up so you can wear them with a navy suit easy or you can wear them with just like shorts so definitely one i would add in terms of wash i'd go for the mid to light definitely over a darker color so just to get that sort of tone in, in your wardrobe because a lot of the stuff we're going to be talking about is navy and lighter colors so this would be a good way to offset that with a mid-tone yeah i definitely would go for something simpler than this something with no like strong wash just a clean blue like a really nice hue of blue so in terms of brands for this pinny palmer do some amazing denim shirts in that sort of like almost dressy gen denim shirts nice fit nice slim fit to them Reese do some amazing ones and if you did want to go for something a little bit more vintage Levi's of course and you can get them at some really amazing prices as well 
So number four on the list is brown loafers. I'll cheat again and say some black loafers as well, but ultimately I'll be steering towards brown first and foremost, just because they lend themselves to a more casual look as well as you can dress them up a little bit. I would also add a black pair as well if you can. These can be worn with almost anything. I wear them with shorts. I wear them with smart dress. Like they can pretty much be worn with anything. They be they can be worn any time of year. So you can wear them with socks, obviously. And they're just something you a good pair of these is just something you should have in your wardrobe, in my opinion. In terms of brands, Blackstock and Weather is a really good one if you want something a little bit more adventurous. Oldens, Brenton, I've got an amazing pair of that have lasted me such a long time, and they've been through a lot. But they've been fantastic. And then on the more affordable side, there's a little bit like Russell and Romney are quite good, especially if you're buying on the pre owned market. There's a load of brands out there that do some just really good ones, but I'd definitely say to invest in a good solid leather pair. So number five on the list is just a simple crew neck t-shirt. So I'm gonna cheat again. We're gonna go white and navy. Just these have to be a good height on the neck, not too low or high on the arm as well, and also slim but not skinny, in my opinion. So the purpose of this is you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them in a more casual setting, under a shirt, but also in an evening, I like sometimes, if you want, especially in a hot evening in a city, just a simple navy, nice clean tee with a really rich colour, especially if it's navy, with either some lighter trousers, like some tan trousers or some navy trousers as well. So again, you can see these pair up with pretty much everything we spoke about so far. You can wear them under the shirts. Obviously, you can pair them with the loafers as well. It goes without saying. So in terms of brands for these, Sunspell are my absolute go-to. And the materials are fantastic. They do an array of colors, really rich, deep colors as well. They're a little bit on the pricey side because they're really well made. And you want that, especially with if you're buying a white t-shirt because you want to be able to wash it and not have it just get that horrible manky color. You want it to be able to wash well. On the more affordable side, Reese do some really good ones. This, in terms of the structure and the shape of them, so I would recommend them as well. So number six on the list is some high rised linen trousers. So these can be linen or like an open weed, but I would like to go for some higher rise trousers, either a navy or a chino-y sort of color, like a beige color. So the reason for this is, with, especially with the higher rise, maybe with a little pleat in there as well, you can dress these up quite a lot. So if you've got like a tucked in t-shirt or if you're just wearing a shirt with them, they look fantastic. And if you just want to go a little bit more casual, untuck the t-shirt, wear them with some loafers, jobs are good. If you've got pleats as well in there, you've got a little bit more room for air to go through. So if it's really hot, that'd be really helpful. But yeah, material is the most important thing here. A nice loose fabric. So linen ideally from a good brand is optimal. So brands for this is like Kit Blake do some amazing ones. I bought some from Forti Calori, which is an Italian brand. Some amazing linen tobacco ones as well so good and they're so roomy and they've got a nice structure to them as well so they they don't look like you're wearing like parachute pants they look proper trousers but just in a really light fabric and they move really well so number seven we've got a lightweight blazer so this would be like a soft shouldered very italian looking blazer i would go for navy personally because you can pair that with pretty much everything on here apart from the shorts but that's another video i've made previously but yeah, definitely like a very soft shouldered blazer in something like a linen or like an open weave fabric, like a fresco, something that moves well and it can dress up your outfit. So if you've got like a little formal event, maybe you wanna wear it with a t-shirt underneath, like a little navy t-shirt underneath. You can wear the denim shirt and then your high-waisted trousers as well. So you can really transform your look with just this more formal thing. So brands for these, Anglo Italian, Drake's of course, you can get some from Reese, you can get them from pretty much anywhere. The keys here are the material and the structure of the jacket, in my opinion. You don't want to go for something too formal, too rigid in the shoulders. Just because you will lose that sort of summery vibe, it'll be a very formal affair. Whereas with this, you can pretty much wear it for anything. And lastly, shorts, the thing I missed off yesterday. It depends on your legs and everything, but I like to go for a relatively mid to high shorts. I personally don't wear shorts that often because I remember being at school and we used to have to wear shorts and I hated it and I feel like a schoolboy every time I do. So I have to be in a real summer situation. I have to be in Spain, I have to be in a hot country. I never really wear them around London unless it's unbearable. So that's probably why I missed them off the video yesterday. And so in terms of colors, again, I'd stick to the navies, the earth tones, the beiges, creams. Those are the colors I'd stay to because you can pair it with everything else. So in terms of brands for these, Sunspell are great. I bought some great ones from Reese. Ripper are some really good ones. They're like, they've got like this sort of Mediterranean aesthetic and so they can, they've got some patterns and stuff, but they do some also really lovely navy ones also. 
and John Henrik as well have some decent ones and a bit more dressy if you want to go for a higher waist maybe like a pleat in there as well and the options are all there now for in terms of like accessories just to add a few little little bits in terms of that so I'd have a little tote bag on tow like a nice good tote bag some sunscreen obviously some a good pair of sunglasses the invisible socks as well those blister tapes are absolutely crucial in my opinion and lastly like a really fresh citrusy aftershave something like that would really kick off the tone for the summer and that's it capsule wardrobe based in eight pieces maybe a little bit of artistic license with the colors but really that is the basis for a really good solid wardrobe just to be clean and simple there's nothing too adventurous in there because you can add that later on you can add the patterns you can add the various different things you'd want in your wardrobe but this is the core pieces i would include if i want to start off and they're very simple things to get very obtainable mostly affordable there's brands that do pretty much any of this stuff because they are the key components but yeah let me know what you think if there's anything you'd like to add drop a comment below please remember to like and subscribe because it really helps me grow the store and the channel and everything behind me is a richard james double breasted suit that we've got in store recently it's a lovely suit if you're interested in that check out archandwoods.com any questions get in touch hello at archandwoods.com at archandwoods on the socials and i look forward to hearing from you soon cheers